Hey everyone, it's Patty. Um, today I wanted to organize the kids dresser and the kids share room. And it's a pretty small room, so I wanted to give you like a general overview of the room so you kind of get an idea of what I'm working with. And I also wanted to show you a quick before. Pretty much there's a lot of wasted things that I have in the dresser, so I wanted to show you kind of what I'm keeping in there. And then I wanted to also show you it, pretty much their their clothes is getting bigger. Both kids are growing so they need more drawer space. So I wanted to show you kind of my thought process and what I was thinking and um, kind of see if I can organize it and keep it a little bit better organized and clean in their room because um, we're running out of space. So I thought I would take you along with me as I do that. So I wanted to give you a quick overview of their room. So here is my son's crib and then there's the dresser and then here we have my daughter's bed and then um, like over here is like the closet now this closet over here I keep um, all of my holiday decor so I don't even use that closet for them because we only have one other closet and so I keep like all here I have like a little reading area too and some clothes that I have to put away and then this closet is where I keep like um, all of their their stuff. So that closet I don't even use for them. It's just all holiday decor. Um, I'm going to be doing a closet organization video, but I still haven't found a system that works completely. So I wanted to um, I wanted to find a system that works before I share it and I want to try it out. I'm going to be reorganizing it and trying it for like a month so I'm hoping in August I can bring you a closet organization video. I have a really good idea that I think is going to work so I am working on that and I will be bringing that but today I wanted to focus on the dresser. So here is the dresser and I don't here you can see there's like a really tight space so it makes it really difficult for me to use these three drawers here on the side. I know the lighting isn't great there. But it makes it really challenging just because the room is so small. But I like where the crib is because it's like centered. But I think I might have to slide it all the way to the edge of the bed. That way I can use these drawers more. Because right now I'm really only using these. So on this side we have just like some hats and different things some hats that belong to my daughter some bracelets more important jewelry like these are special earrings that my aunt gave her she also has like these were her first pair of earrings so just some like sentimental things but also like just hats and stuff but a lot of these things don't even fit her anymore so I just want to go through that and condense it and organize it then over here we have, this is my son's drawer, um, pretty much what I'm doing is PJs here, onesies and t-shirts here, and then shorts or like pants or anything. Right now it's really hot here so he like never wears pants. So just shorts and stuff like that on this side. And I have some clear dividers in here also. Um, but he's, he's, like now he's going into nine to twelve months and the clothes is just getting too big so I'm gonna have to move him into two drawers then here we have my daughter's shirts and pants here and shorts but it's just squish so I feel like I need to extend it to one more drawer and then here we have dress pants and <clears throat> more like the bottoms that she would wear to church not like on a regular basis and then all of this is PJs but a lot of these she's not they're like long sleeve pants long pants and long sleeve shirts and by the time it's cooler she won't fit into these so I think I'm gonna go ahead and go through her drawer and sort through the sizes and then over here this drawer is just like I need, I think I'm going to put, it's just being wasted. This is like the instructions from the monitor, which I have a file with all their manuals, so I need to move that. And then I think I'm going to put like some of my son's accessories, like he has little bow ties and stuff like that. 
And then over here, this is where it gets a little bit tighter. I have bows and stuff and I had it really organized. And then we went like on a trip and I packed a whole bunch of stuff and then threw it back in here. So I want to just reorganize it. The system I had works on a regular basis, but I just threw stuff back in there. So I want to like regroup it and organize that too. Then over here we have, I have more of those clear bins and I just have like bibs for my son which he he does wear those still so I still want to keep them out I don't he doesn't regularly wear them but we still use them so I want to keep those there then socks for him socks for my daughters and then like leggings and stuff and then I keep her panties in the back and then here is where I keep their towels are in the wash right now but this is where I keep their towels and then also like their wet these are like wet bags that I, I, I use cloth diapers with my daughter but I didn't with my son but I still I want to keep that stuff but right now I'm using them for like the beach in the pool but I I'm thinking I want to move their towel <coughs> excuse me their towels and like all of this stuff to the closet because I feel like it's just wasting a drawer and I need the drawer space then this is the other drawer I plan on clearing out and this is just old stuff my daughter's nursery before my son was born was um, like elephants and gray and pink and um, it's just stuff from her old nursery and then I had also purchased some fabrics from Hobby Lobby and I had a project of mine that I just never did so um, these were for the new nursery, but I just never did anything with it. So if you have any ideas, comment down below and let me know what I can use that fabric for. And then on top, I just have, sorry about the lighting. I just have the, um, that's their sound machine over there. That's the lamp. And then I put these, these are normally not up here. I put these here um, just because in case I need extra bins. These are the Ikea bins, which the drawers are really, they're not super high. So, I don't know if I'm going to... They fit, but they're really, really tight fit. Where the ones I have in here right now, these bins, I got from TJ Maxx. And I, I like these better for these drawers, but I don't want to spend any more money. So, I have them here. And then I also have an extra clear bin just in case the bow ties I want to put in that drawer. I also picked this up from Hobby Lobby. And our last name starts with the letter G. And as you can see here, we have like a gallery wall. And I wanted to put it here just because the room is like just more like rustic decor. So I wanted to put it here, but it's going to be too big. So it was on clearance. It was only two bucks. So I'll use it somewhere else. But I thought it would have been so cute here, but it's just too big. So that's not going to work, but <laughs> that's there. And then I'll find another spot for it. And then this bin has been kind of like a catch all. So I just want to clear it and empty it and all of that. And then this is back here because that's the mirror that goes with this dresser. But I wanted to do a gallery wall. And there's nowhere where you could put it so it just looks bad back there. But that's where it is. So I will see you in a little bit and show you the progress I've made. Okay, so I wanted to show you what I did so far and what I'm thinking about doing. And part of the reason I decided to do this is because the kids are getting ready to change sizes and I had to like get rid of some stuff so I figured it's a good chance to go ahead and organize the dresser. And then I also have um, a pile of laundry here so I figured it's a good time to go ahead and get organized with this. So what I'm doing is I went ahead and cleared out the two these two. Like that drawer I had cleared out. This was the one with like the wet bags and stuff. And then this drawer was the one with like the frames and the fabric and stuff. And then the socks were up here and I moved them down here. And what I'm going to do in this drawer is this was one of the Ikea bins. I'm going to put my son's PJs in here and things like that. And then I probably will put pants over here just because he is not wearing my it's really we're in South Florida and it's really hot so he's not wearing very many pants and then since these drawers are harder to get to I'm trying to put things over here like way over there that I don't use as often and then and the same with like socks they're wearing more like open toe shoes so they're not wearing socks that much and then here um, 
I'm going to be putting like my daughter's pants, probably like play pants, then dress pants, and then bottom shorts or something like that. We'll see. But that's my progress so far. Um, my son is here. He's my little helper. And then my daughter is having lunch now. So we'll see. We'll see if I can get this done before she finishes her lunch. So I will show you when I am done. Hopefully I can finish. <laughs> so I finished the dresser and here's the top. I just decided to add that G over there for now until I find a spot for it. But let me show you the inside of the basket. Um, I just put wipe, extra wipes and diapers. And then this thing is, um, I use this as like it's a projector and it projects the light on top of the ceiling. And um, I just decided to keep it in there because that was from my daughter. And it's an elephant, which it matched with the theme of her room. But it doesn't really match with their theme now. So, But I still use it for my son. So I figured that way it's hidden, but um, I can still use it. So let me go ahead and show you the drawers. Over here is all my daughter's bows. These are like the hair clip bows, and then all her headbands are back here, and then like all the hair ties are here. And this works really well for me. It just got a little bit messy because I wasn't putting things back, but it probably needs to be organized like every six months or something. But in general, it stays very, this works really well for me. And then um, this drawer, I just have, like this is just dedicated to my son stuff. Right now, I just have some bow ties. And then like a pacifier clip and a teething necklace that I wear sometimes. And then I have a few nursing things back here that I just don't need anymore. And then also like during the fall and winter he wears suspenders. So I'll probably keep those in here as well. And then in this drawer I got rid of pretty much any of the hats I put away that my uh, daughter, they don't fit her anymore. And then I put this clear bin in here for like all her little jewelry things and then the important jewelry I put over here and then her sunglasses then in this drawer this is where I put like all my I use this Ikea bin to put all the PJs so over here I have sleepers and then over here I have the sets and then back here I'm just keeping he got some hand-me-downs from my sister-in-law she has a son um, that is my daughter's age so um, we got a few of his hand-me-downs and there's some PJs that are in the size, like his size that he's going into, but they're like holiday PJs. So I'm just tucking them in the back. And I also got like PJs last year on clearance for this year that I just am going to tuck back there. And then those are like some pant and shirt sets that it's the size he's going to be wearing. So I went ahead and pulled them out and washed them, but it's too hot right now for them. So I'm just keeping them there. And then over here, pretty much the same setup I had before. I just moved things around a little bit. Um, I'm keeping t-shirts there, then onesies back here, and then these are like the, they're kind of a onesie. It's like a shirt and shorts set I'm keeping up here. So um, that way I kind of, like the, the onesies, I, I know I need shorts with them, where these I know I don't, so I like to keep them separate. And then um, I just have like regular shorts and then like the cozy cotton shorts back here. Then over here we have play pants and then dress pants. My daughter has a lot of pants because she's in between sizes so she kind of has two sizes out right now. So it looks like a lot of pants and it is, especially since we're not wearing pants right now. But, and a lot of these are from last fall, but I want to keep them out because she might be able to wear them in October. So I don't want to get like put them away yet. So that's why there's so many pants. And then here we have, here we have a baby crawling on my leg. Hey, what are you doing? Hey. What are you doing? Okay, here we have t-shirts, no rhyme or reason. They're just folded and put away. And then my daughter's shorts there. And the last two drawers we have, I think I showed this already, like the socks divided. Last drawer 
is just dedicated to her PJs. I went ahead and took out all the long sleeve pants and long sleeve shirts because she was already outgrowing those so I know they won't fit her when she needs them. So I have like the short sleeve and shorts and then these are short sleeve and pants and then any like nightgowns that she has are there. So I'll give you one final look. Here's the wall. And that's it. So let me know if you found this organizing video helpful. If you want to see more organizing videos, please let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.